So that was good. But yeah, it was, it was uh, probably one of the times I was the most anxious yet the most determined to do what I needed to do. What a beautiful blend of anxious and determined. Yeah, do and it anyway. Context, this is like 2007, 2008 presenting? Yeah, 2006, because uh, the first article came out um, in the sex addiction community in 2006. Okay. okay. So probably right around then. I graduated in 2005, and my study was out in 2005. So, Barb, were you the first? As far as I know, I was yeah. the first to name it, it. Was mm -hmm. to really name it as trauma in terms of the the impact of infidelity and especially around the the point of discovery. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I was the first one to really name it as trauma. Mm -hmm. And there were other voices talking about sexual trauma that there was sexual trauma, but I really pointed it mm -hmm. out as post traumatic stress. Right. And, um, and I love the way that you framed it as um, a loved one. You know, a lot of times we say the partner was acting out or the addict was acting out, but that you said when you find a loved one, I had that that's really beautiful. Do you find that, it, um, is it, is it infidelity? So if, if someone has a one-time affair versus sex addiction, is there a difference in the traumatic response? Um, I don't really know that there is a difference. There may be more of a difference in terms of how long the secret was held. So how long perhaps the betrayal was going on and the person didn't know. So that was part of my study and just looking at, you know, what was the length of time before discovery? Um, yeah. And the longer that the person had been in the relationship when they found out, the more intense the trauma symptoms. So that length of time in the relationship. When I was doing my research, I found that there wasn't anything, you know, you, ha you have to look at current research to support what you're going to be saying. And the only thing that was out there was in the field of infidelity. And they talked about trauma. Um, but in my experience, um, the longer the infidelity or the secrets were being held, the more damaging and the more traumatic and the longer the relationship. Did that answer your question, Wendy? Yeah, no, I, I really appreciate that. Um, and I think it's a, it's a piece that might be missed in assessments is how long to have that perspective of how long the betrayal was going on. Um, I think that disclosure, it can be so powerful and so devastating in that respect, mm -hmm. because the partner might be thinking, oh, this was just in the last year or two. And when they find out that potentially right. it would go through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the additional trauma there of questioning their whole sense of reality, mm -hmm. their perception of who am I, who is this, you know, what is this relationship? Who is this person that I love? Mm -hmm. That I think adds a whole other layer of trauma. For the individual it's just shattering yeah. yeah and that makes sense i mean the longer the relationship the more that trust has been built mm -hmm. and is the foundation of the relationship yeah that makes a lot of sense and i'm just i'm, I'm hearkening to this is 2006 we're talking and mm -hmm. here we are in 2024 and that's what we're working with when folks walk in the room now it's just this the timelessness Mm -hmm. to this research, these findings, which has shaped the modality of treatment for betrayed partners. Yeah, yeah, the field has really changed, which is a really good thing. It really needed to, because we had this whole set of people that were so wounded and so missed. Mm -hmm. And as we know, when you're traumatized and then you go to get help and the person that you go to to get help misses you, or maybe add something on that feels harmful for you, that that contributes to even more trauma. We call that institutional trauma now. So, but it's it's that seeking help, not being heard and well received. And so there was more harm. That was a really big reason why APSATS was started was because we saw this going on and we wanted to start to do things to make it safer and to be more responsive to the needs of the partner rather than adding to the hurt. Mm -hmm.